Representative Martinez Fisher uh, is the chairman of the Mexican American Legislative Caucus. Um, his, his work with the caucus has made the caucus one of the most viable and uh, important uh, legislative caucuses, not just in Texas, but across the country. Through the years I've known a lot of politicians and, and sometimes I, I get irritated by, by some of them because they don't publicly uh, stand up for, for some of the issues that are really hurting our Latino community, for example. And, and Trey seems to be oblivious to that. He, he, he goes out and, and, and supports, uh, uh, and he's recognized for that. I mean, he's a chairman of the Mexican American Legislative Caucus, so his colleagues recognize that about him. He was designated uh, the uh, Bull of the Brazos Award that was given by uh, Texas, or the designation by Texas Monthly Magazine. This award is named after uh, Senator Bill Moore, who was a fierce fighter, and it, it, it is given to the person that proves to be the fiercest advocate uh, for uh, the causes that they sincerely feel uh, should be addressed. I don't think that you can classify someone like Trey Martinez Fisher in one single act. You see, it's been a continuum of protection uh, for Texas school children. He fights with and fights for our community to make sure that our school children have the resources that they need. One of the things that hurt so many of our students throughout the state of Texas was the fact that uh, the Republicans of, of the state who were in charge in the majority uh, removed about five billion dollars from the money that was being spent uh, for children throughout the state. And Trey was was very active in, in bringing back uh, $3.9 billion. Not million, but billion dollars. If we had only had one school finance session and bill, I would say that was it. But his leadership, last legislative session, to put together the coalition that restored some of those funds that were horrendous from the 2011 cuts was brilliant and masterful. I think uh, Trey Martinez Fisher epitomizes the sort of leadership uh, from the Latino community that we saw in these historic first-time legislators. Matt Garcia, Joe Bernal, Carlos Truan, uh, Irma Rangel, the sort of coming out of the civil rights movement into positions of authority and leadership. Whether it's in the legislature or coming back home, he's going to be involved in the public policy setting. He's going to be in the tables where decisions are made, whether it's at the not-profit role or the corporate role or in public policy. I don't think we can write Trey's legacy. He's way too young and he's got so much more to give.